are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 10th, 2021, this preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be broadcast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Bible verse, Romans chapter 12, verse 10 to 17. Love one another with brotherly affection. Undo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep, live in harmony with one another, do not be haughty but associate with the lowly, never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As for today's Bible, July 10th, 2021, this preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading a narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Bible verse, Romans chapter 13, verse 8 to 14. Oh, no one anything except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covey, and that any other commandment are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbors as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearing to us. Now then, when we first believe, the night is far gone, the day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works of darkness, and put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly, as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on the Lord.
You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As it is Bible, July tenth, twenty twenty one. This preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration that we broadcast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Bible verse: Romans chapter twelve, verse ten to seventeen. Love one another with brotherly affection. Undo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As a day's Bible, July tenth, twenty twenty one. This preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration. I'll be broadcast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's use mystery message: You are the man. Second Samuel chapter twelve, verse one to fourteen. And the Lord sent Nathan to David. He came to him and said to him. There were two men in a certain city, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man had very many flocks and herds, but the poor man had nothing but one little ewe lamb, which he had bought. He brought it up and grew up with him and with his children. He used to eat of his morsel and drink from his cup and lie in his arms, and it was like a daughter to him. Now they came. A traveler to the rich man, and he was unwilling to take one of his own flock or herd to prepare for the guests who had come to him. But he took the poor man's lamb and prepared for the man who had come to him. Then David's anger was greatly kind kindled against the man, and he said to Nathan, "As the Lord lives, the man who has done this deserves to die, and he shall restore the lamb fourfold because he did this thing." And because he had no pity, Nathan said to David, "You are the man." Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, "I anointed you king over Israel. I delivered you out of the hand of Saul, and I gave you your master's house and your master's wives into your arms, and gave you the house of Israel and of Judah. If this were too little, I would add to you as much more." Why have you despised the word of the Lord to do what is evil in His sight? You have struck down Uriah the Hitty with the sword, and have taken his wife to be your wife, and have killed him with the sword of Ammonites. Now, therefore, the sword shall never depart from your house, because you have despised me and taken the wife of Uriah the Hitty to be your wife. Thus says the Lord: Behold, I will raise up evil against you. Out of your own house, I will take your wives before your eyes and give them to your neighbor, and he shall lie with your wives in the sight of the sun. For you did secretly, but I will do this thing before all Israel and before the sun. David said to Nathan, "I have sinned against the Lord." And Nathan said to David, "The Lord." Also has put away your sin; you shall not die. Nevertheless, because by this deed you have utterly scorned 
the Lord, the child who is born to you shall die. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 10th, 2021, this is preached by Pastor David Shen. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's children's mystery message, God Love Honest Person. Act chapter 5, verse 1 through 11. But a man named Ananus, with his wife Sapphira, sold a piece of property, and with his wife's knowledge, he kept back for himself some of the proceeds and brought only a part of it, and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back for yourself part of the proceeds of the land? While it remained unsold, did it remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not at your disposal? Why is it that you have contrived these deeds in your heart? You have not lied to man, but to God. When Ananias heard these words, he fell down and breathed his last. And great fear came upon all who heard of it. The young men rose and wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him. After an interval of about three hours, his wife came in not knowing what had happened. And Peter said to her, Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, Yes, for so much. But Peter said to her, How is it that you have agreed together to test the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. Immediately she fell down at his feet and breath breathed at her last. When the young man came in, they found her dead. They carried her out and buried her besides her husband. And great fear came upon the whole church and upon all who heard of these things. <laughs> 